So how can we look at, at an organic molecule and you know tell formal charges? Uh, sometimes lone pairs are not written and so it's really difficult. You gotta imply. It's one of the reasons why organic chemistry is a little bit more difficult. Um, you know, which makes it a little bit more difficult for a lot of people because a lot of stuff is just implying, right? So with that being said, let's look at some hybridization and some formal charge. So let's calculate the formal charge in this oxygen. So the start number uh, or, you know, the amount of electron groups that is around an atom, um, you know, corresponds to the hybridization. So looking at this, there is one electron group, two, three. So this corresponds to an sp2 hybridized because you have three electron groups. And hey, it should make sense. Your, your hybridization number should match up to how many electron groups that is around your atom or your steric number. So again, you have one, two, three. You have two P's and one S, right? Again, you have one, two, three, which is corresponding upon your uh, your hybridization number, right? So let's, get, let's look at the formal charge. Well, we said the formal charge is the atom's valence electron minus the total bonding electron. No, not total bonding electron, but total number of electrons that's around the atom. So... Oxygen has a valence electron of six, and I see one, two, three, four, five around oxygen. So six minus five will give me a plus one charge on this oxygen, right? Uh, all right, let's look at this nitrogen here, right? This nitrogen here, let's look at the hybridization, right? So how many electron groups is around the central atom of nitrogen, right? Let's count. One, two, three. Four. Mm -hmm. So there's actually four electron groups around this nitrogen here. So therefore, we will say this is actually sp3 hybridized because, again, you have four electron group or your steric number is four. So therefore, you have three p's and one s will add up, which will correspond to your hybridization state. Right. But again, they should match. Right. Formal charge in this will be zero um and let's let's check it out right because right, you have how many electron groups that is around nitrogen well how many electrons total that's around nitrogen well you have one two three four five well five minus five is zero so that doesn't have a formal charge let's look at this nitrogen over here right what's it hybridization what 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 is it you know how does it look well what well, what, what's this orbitals like? How is it hybridized? Well, again, right? How many? What's the start number? The start number in this case will be four. One, two, three, four, right? Or in other, in other words, you have four electron groups that is around the atom. And again, an electron group is it could be a sigma, it could be a sigma bond, or it could be a pi bond, right? It could be a single single bond, a triple bond, or a lone pair or a double bond, they all count for one electron group. And so looking at this hybridization, this will be sp3, again, because you have the start number is four, or you have four, you know, electron groups around nitrogen, right? Which will be, this counts for one, and this counts for the other three. Right? So this will be sp3 hybridized, right? Uh, what's the formal charge? Well, again, nitrogen has a valence electron of five, right? So that will be five minus how many electrons that is around nitrogen? Well, again, one, two, three, four. So five minus four will give you plus one charge of nitrogen, all right? Uh, uh, so, right? So, so, so that will be the charge on that nitrogen here. You know, I could go ahead and put an oxygen here, all right? All right for just for sake what would just for practice what would be the formal charge of this oxygen well again oxygen's valence electron number is six right has six valence electron how many electrons are around oxygen well one two three four five six seven right you have one right here right so that's six minus seven will give you a minus one charge you know right and just for practice again i could put a double bonded o right here all right all right, all right. What, what what would be the charge of this hydrogen, oxygen? Right, it would be none. Right, it would be zero. Because, right? my apologies, it would be zero. Right, because again, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so six minus six is zero. So uh, that's uh, that's all we got to talk about in terms of formal charge.